Hello everyone, this is Gail. I told you I would be back. I wasn't going to stay gone permanently, but I decided to change the name of my chat time to just that. Instead of being Friday Frolics, I'm going to just call it Gail's Chat Time because um, as you can see, I'm not always going to have my post on Friday, so the name just didn't really mean anything anymore. So I said that uh, I would, <coughs> excuse me, I would uh, check in when I had something to tell you, and so a lot's been going on with me. As you can see, I got new glasses with more glass to glare on the computer. Sorry about that, but I need to have them on so I can see, and I've twisted my head every which way, and I would either have to look way down or way up in order not to get any glare in my glasses. So I apologize, but you know, when you get as old as me, you get a little blind. So um, I also didn't notice, it's funny, I looked in the mirror when I was getting dressed and my hair looked fine and then I come down here, maybe it's the white background, maybe that's what I need to look in when I look at when I'm doing my hair and just realized how fuzzy it is on this side. So I don't know why it's so fuzzy, but Anyway, I've got a new haircut, and I'm still working on that. But So I've got new glasses, new haircut, and I've got new toes. I got a pedicure on uh, Sunday afternoon. But I just wanted to catch you up on some things that have been going on. Um, I know most of you have all heard, if you haven't experienced, Hurricane Florence. <coughs> My vacation was canceled, of course, because I was going to Topsail Beach, Topsail Island, not Topsail Beach. I was going to Surf City. And the island was evacuated last week because of the hurricane. And they did have a lot of water, but it appears that the place that I am, that I usually go to, did not sustain a lot of damage. They don't know yet. They're just looking at cameras because they haven't been allowed back on the island yet. They're still trying to clear the roads. There's lots of sand. The picture that I saw, you could just see piles of sand all the way down the road where they've been um, plowing the road. Here in Richmond, we, we plow with uh, for snow, but they plowed sand. So probably today or tomorrow, I'm sure they'll be able to get back in, but it didn't appear that they had any damage. But of course, they won't know till they get back in there. But anyway, no vacation for me this year, so that's okay. I'm just glad they didn't sustain any more damage than they did because the island was hit pretty hard. Uh, from what I could see watching the news here on Friday, it appeared that the eye went right over Topsail Island because it, it's just a little bit uh, east of Wilmington. And I think the eye hit like right between Wilmington and then across Topsail. So it was pretty bad. And the people in North Carolina, I mean, it's still, the storm is over, but they're still going through flooding. Um, I heard on the news this morning that there's areas where the flooding is getting higher every day and it's not supposed to peak until later this week. So there's lots of uh, people that, you know, don't have homes. There have been people that have died. The one that comes to mind is the mother and child that were killed when a tree fell on their house. And, you know, it just shows you it's when they when they say to evacuate, please evacuate. It's for your own safety. I can understand some areas where you probably weren't evacuated and suddenly have been hit by floods because you've never had floods before so you didn't know it was coming and so that I can kind of understand but you know I know sometimes it's a financial problem that you can't get out but if nothing else just get on the highway and drive out of it you know do something even if you don't have a place to go you know just get out of the way of these horrible storms but Anyway, it was lots of rain. We had one windy day last Monday. Uh, Friday was a very windy day, but nothing catastrophic. We have had, like I said, lots of rain. And last night we had 
and it's still from Florence. These are the remnants of Florence that are now, they went around Virginia, and I have to tell you a story about that. But they went around Virginia, and now the remnants came across our city yesterday, and one part of them, and we had terrible tornadoes. And if you've ever lived in the Richmond area, tornadoes are very rare. But we had tornado after tornado after tornado yesterday. And uh, one person was killed when a building collapsed. And it's just been a very, very difficult time for people in the path of Florence. And Florence is still hanging out there. She's, you know, she's not finished yet. But I wanted to tell you, and I may have mentioned it before, but my Sunday school class, rather than passing a hat on Sunday mornings and taking up a collection, uh, our teacher never did like that. So what we have done is every two years, we would go around to the local merchants and solicit, um, you know, gift cards, any donation, and we would have an auction and we would usually bring in maybe between three and four thousand dollars tops. I think the biggest was like thirty eight hundred dollars. And we only did it every two years, but we used that thirty eight hundred dollars during the two years to for people, you know, for mission projects. Uh, we would send things like this. Now we'll probably send some money to Samaritan's Purse because they're going to be needing it for the North Carolina flood relief and everything. But we've always had these causes that we were able to donate to. And then we always had families we could help. So this was the year we were supposed to have our auction. And the president of our class loves fundraising. And he went all out on this one. He, when he went not just to local merchants. He went everywhere. We had hotels in Florida, um, you know, that donated stays, you know, two, one and two night stays in their hotels. He had uh, one entrance into the baseball school that's held down there every year, the pro baseball school. And, you know, then he had fishing trips for four that included hotel. And what he did also when he would get like these, like the Florida trip, not only did he get the hotels for two nights, but he also went in the area and found out what restaurants were there and contacted those restaurants and got gift cards. So when you went, you not only had your hotel stay, but you had the food paid for. I mean, he did an awesome job. And we had over $40,000 worth of things to auction off at our auction. It was, we were petrified because we've never had to handle that kind of money. And that was this past Saturday. And what was supposed to hit us last week, but Florence. So the week before, when we, uh, originally Florence was due to hit the coast, go to 95 and come all the way up the 95 corridor, which is right through Richmond. We were supposed to get a Category 2 uh, hurricane. So, of course, we started praying and that the hurricane would turn. And what happened? The hurricane turned. I mean... So they say there's no power in prayer, but I have to argue with that. I think prayer is very important. So as much as I felt so bad for the people in North Carolina, I still was happy that it didn't come up here. Well, then, because the rain has just never stopped. We've had rain for two weeks now, it seems like. And so we were concerned about people showing up for the auction because of all the rain. Because everything around in the area was being canceled, either because of flooding or rain or whatever. And uh, so we just prayed, you know, Lord, we know you, you, if you can move a hurricane, we know you can bring the people. And Saturday came and we were slammed. I mean, we had almost more people than we could handle. It was unreal the number of people that we had show up for our auction. And so we're giving all the glory to God, and we ended up making over $28,000 for missions. And, I mean, I'm just in awe. I just think that's awesome. But, uh, you know, that was something really exciting that happened over the weekend. 
So, but I just wanted there. Some of you have contacted me wanting to know how the storm was affecting me, and I just wanted to let everybody know I'm safe. Uh, my house is safe. You know, we haven't had any flooding. We've had lots of rainwater drain, you know, come through our property. But uh, luckily, where I am, it's very good drainage, and it drains back into a little creek down way back behind my house. So the water just ran back that way. And uh, I don't even see the creek. I, don't, I know there's one back there. They tell me there's one back there, but I've never seen it. But it was just nice to know that, you know, there was no damage here. But it's been a really anxious uh, couple of days or week, really, between the hurricane and then yesterday, the tornadoes. It was really scary because they were showing my area where my house is as having, you know, a tornado warning. And luckily... We're on my end, we had about, oh, I don't know, seven or eight tornado warnings in seven or eight different parts of the city. It pretty much covered the entire city and surrounding area. But uh, the county just south of me, I'm in Henrico County, and then there's Chesterfield County, which is south of Richmond, and they got hit really hard. That's where the person was killed when the building collapsed. But, uh, you know, it, it's been a little nerve-wracking, but I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm fine, and a little disappointed in not being able to go to the beach, but you know these things happen, so the bad part is now I've got to hurry up and get a tutorial for you for Monday, because I I was planning on doing a, um, a former Patreon video yesterday, uh, as, you know, because I was just going to wake up in the morning before I left for the beach, post that video, and then I was going to go. And, of course, that didn't happen. So I had I used the one that I had for next Monday on yesterday. So now I'm I'm not ahead anymore. I thought I had gotten ahead with my videos, so I, but I haven't. So Monday you may get a former Patreon video. Just, you know, just kind of give me some time to get get things straight. And then on top of everything else, my daughter has finally decided that, yes, we are going to move. We are going to try to find a lot that we can afford or she can afford, and we're going to have a house built on it. And we've been looking at floor plans and model homes and making, you know, making decisions on what we need to do. We've been looking at land. Um, we did find one lot we really like, and we would love to be able to get that, but I have to, you know, we have to get an equity line of credit to have any cash to use to make improvements here that need to be done. Like my floor, um, my living room, we pulled the carpet up, and it's just bare wood floors with no finish on it because they're old, old floors. They probably had uh, carpet on them for years. And those need to, I've got, we got the carpet up, but we need to get those sanded and refinished. The stairway also needs to be done that goes upstairs. On top of, you know how it is, you know, when you make a decision, then all of a sudden all these problems pop up. And my daughter was washing clothes Sunday night. That's her night to wash clothes. And we've got one of those buzzers that, let, that buzzes when the load is finished. And the buzzer cut on. And it never cut off. It just kept buzzing and kept buzzing and kept buzzing. And so then um, she went down and got her clothes out. She had to turn the buzzer off in order to get it to be quiet. And so then she folded her clothes, came back upstairs because my washing machine's in the basement. And as we were going to bed, I was going around turning all the lights out and I could hear the dryer going in the basement. So I asked her if she had put another load of clothes in the dryer. And she said, no, I'm done. And I said, but the dryer's going. She goes, no, I turned it off. So she went down to see what was going on. And the little knob that you turn for the different cycles, you know, that clicking noise you can hear uh, when you're like a countdown, like when you have a timer and it goes click, 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 click until it reaches the next thing. Well, the the dryer control was making that noise. So what had happened is the 
time the cycle button had turned, she had turned it off, but it was still going forward a little at a time, so it cut itself back on. Can you believe that? It cut itself back on. And we couldn't get it, we could turn it off, but we could still hear that click, click, click sound, which meant it was still going to advance to the next cycle. So I had to turn it off at the breaker box in order to be sure that we didn't have some kind of an electrical fire. So I know how it is with dryers. It's usually more economical to buy a new one than it is to have one fixed. So, you know, we've got that now we have to deal with. So it just seems like every time we turn around, there's something that comes up. But, you know, it'll all work out. I just have to trust that this is what, you know, God has for us in the future. And it'll be nice because I'll have one great big craft room and I can have my paper and my clay all in the same room. So I can have just one video place, one camera. It's going to be really nice. Can't wait. But that's about it. I mainly just wanted to let everybody know that I'm fine and I'm going to change the lo I'm going to change the logo. I haven't designed one yet, but I'm just going to call it Gail's Chat Time. Because you never know what day it's going to pop up. Like today is Tuesday. You know, it's not going to be just on Fridays anymore. So that's what I'm going to do. Whenever I come up with something I need to fill you guys in on, that's what I'm going to do. So I hope everyone has a great week. If you're in the path of Florence, please be safe. You know, this is the, it's a monster storm. And even though it's died down to a tropical depression, she's still dangerous, as we saw last night. So have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.